Star Trek Picard Season 3 is heating up. Seems like I always say that, but with only 4 episodes left, most of the Next Generation crew have been reunited. However, this week's episode and the preview for it seems to up the stakes. Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 7 is titled Dominion. Therefore, might we expect more Star Trek Deep Space Nine Easter eggs and references? Episode 7 is directed by Deborah Kampner and written by Jane Maggs. Like each week, the official synopsis gives us an idea of where this episode will go. However, we've also got to break down some preview content. Trek Central has a sneak peek of the upcoming episode. We've got a clip, a trailer and some preview pictures to build our Star Trek theories for this week. Spoiler warning, this is a preview video of official release material, but we'll be speculating at the end of what this means and connecting with Dot. So if you want to go into this episode blind, go away. I'm joking, but you, you don't want to get spoiled. Welcome to Trek Central. I'm your host, Captain Jack, and let's get right into the preview for this week's episode as it's looking fantastic. Before we do warp into this video, if you want to keep up to date on the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Star Trek universe. But for now, engage. Okay, we're going to put the official synopsis on screen here, and you can read it for yourself. It pretty much covers what's going to go on, the Titans crippled, and they're going to lure Vadik into a trap. Kind of cool, and we get to see that by teaser trailers, which we're going to check out in just a moment. Okay, preview pictures. Immediately I'm getting the impression that the crew of the US of Titan are fugitives on the run. I mean, they essentially are. Especially being on the run from Starfleet. However, looking at the preview pictures for Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 7, many characters are now wearing the Starfleet uniform jacket. Take a look at both Jerry Ryan and Todd Stashwick's pictures. They're wearing this jacket, it looks cool. There is also a picture of Jack Crusher, who's played by Ed Spelliers, and Ensign the Forge. Obviously, this was Ashley Sharp Chestnut's Ensign the Forge in the Titans Corridor. If we look at the image of Vadik and her goons, perhaps they're looking at them. I mean, compare this image and this image, it looks like they're looking at each other. Now, we've also got a fantastic shot of Jerry Ryan as Commander Seven in the Titans Captain's Chair. Perhaps Seven is finally getting the time to shine in commanding the Starship. Or maybe Episode Seven is where Liam Shaw finally bites a bullet many think is coming for him. Case McFadden and Sir Patrick Stewart can be seen as Dr. Crusher and Admiral Picard in the Medical Bay. However, Levar Burton is all seen as Droid LaForge. Notably, both Michelle Hurd as Raffi and Worf obviously Michael Dawn are missing from promotional materials this week. Therefore, I am wondering if they've gone off to continue searching for Riker and Deanna Troy. I mean, yeah, it could make sense. Returning to Jerry Ryan's Captain Chairs moment, if we zoom and enhance this image, we can see ship wreckage at the back of a conference room window. Hmm, I wonder. I've seen many theories suggesting where they could be or what's going on, but we're going to have to wait till Thursday. This week's teaser trailer for the episode really sets the hype. Immediately we're greeted with a shrike encountering the USS Titan A, drifting on what looks like a debris field. It seems either the Titan is hiding there and putting itself out to be a trap, or they just stumble upon this former battleground. We can hear Vadik saying, The Federation took my family. Now, she either means her actual family, or perhaps the loss of her other changelings during the Dominion War. I mean, this would connect with the episode name. Vadik does finish her sentence by saying, Now I'll take yours. Of course, we know from the plot she is after Jack Crusher. The Ready Room clip, which we'll discuss in just a moment, also explains this plot thread a bit more as well. Much like we saw in the trailers, Vadik and the goons have boarded the USS Titan A. Seven is ready to defend the bridge from the invaders, but Vadik seems to order her goons to spread chaos. I mean, this speech could be apart from another, and I think trailer splicing makes me think so. Episode 7 also appears to be one where Law's chaos unfolds. Last week we got him back, but this week we see LaForge Camerton stating his name while Jean-Luc is asking for his help. Naturally, who would expect Law to help them? Most likely I see this episode being a battle of personalities between Law and Data, and maybe even Doctor Soon. Who knows ultimately? However, it seems LaForge and Law are going to have to like each other. There might be odds over who can help Sydney, who is trapped behind a force field and seems to be attacked by one of the goons. I love how we're just calling them Vadik's goons in this way, it fits. There were also shots of Starfleet crew fighting Vadik's forces. For example, we can see Captain Shaw chasing after Vadik and one of the other changeling people. Seven Nine is also defending the bridge as attackers rush onto it. Vadik can be heard saying, I warned you it would end this way. Well, the shot is on Jack Crusher. This phrase is likely directed at somebody else, perhaps Picard, or perhaps Riker or Deanna. Now, they're both absent from all promotion materials this week, which is odd. I mean, let's be honest, we know they survive anyway, it'll be fine, I hope. 
Speaking of Riker and Deanna, a theory just pops in my head while I'm doing this preview video for you guys. In the trailer, we see a shot of Marina Sirtis as Deanna Troy, and it looks like she stood in the Titan A's hallway. But she says, there's a darkness on the ship, an all-consuming darkness. I wonder if it's ADR while she's on the Shrike. So it looks like she's saying in the trailer, she doesn't actually say it in character, it's a, a voiceover. So I wonder if she's saying this to Will on board the Shrike, as you know it's where they're being held. That'd be pretty cool, maybe that's the opening to next week. Or this week. Each week, the Ready Room App Show gives us a preview of what's coming up. Therefore, this week expands on what the villains of Picard Season 3 are up to. Amanda Plummer's Captain Vadic may be the main villain that Jean-Luc and the crew are fighting. Have we aware that someone else is pulling the strings? It seems Vadic's employment by The Face might be cut short. Additionally, it seems that the villains are getting desperate regarding a time frame for their plan. Whoever this face is, they seem to be able to torture Vadic rather well. However, we've not got a clear idea of who this unknown foe is. They clearly want Jack Crusher, and as revealed by last week, maybe something to do with Jean-Luc Picard's old body. But another detail sticks out. The face says, you and your kind. Now Vadic and Akku are changelings. Therefore, is the face not a changeling? If so, what species are they? Perhaps another subspecies of changelings we aren't aware of. Given Star Trek Picard Season 3's Episode 7's title, that's a mouthful, might we learn more about the overall species of the Changelings and the relation to the Dominion? I've got some crazy theories on this face, but I've also seen some suggesting Iconians, perhaps the real changes we're familiar with from the Deep Space Nine series. Seriously, some crazy stuff. I personally think Borg, and yes, I know it's a bit far-fetched, but stick with me. I really think they're involved somewhere due to their relationship with Jean-Luc Picard and also their hatred of the Federation. This week, we'll need to see more of William T. Riker, obviously played by Jonathan Frakes, and Deanna Troy, the lovely Marina Sirtis. However, we've also seen a glimpse in one of the trailers of a pair's conversation. It seems Deanna is not happy about Will running off to help Jean-Luc, as always. We've seen part of his conflict already, it's explained over the first four episodes. Will is running away from his family problems. Now that both are captured, we'll see a resolution between the pair. Relationship troubles are never nice to watch for viewers, especially of these two. Now additionally, I have my theories of what's going on. We've seen Captain Vadic on board the Titan A with the goons in the trailers. However, is this the episode we see that in? I think so. There's also a trailer scene from back from the New York Comic Con trailer that shows Commander Seven and Captain Shaw fighting someone in the hallways. We don't see it in this trailer here, but I reckon it's the same episode. One of the press pictures is Vadic in a Starfleet corridor. They don't make sense to get, you know, the ships get bored this week, but I'd love to see how they actually bored. Of course, Star Trek Picard Season 3 airs on Thursdays via Paramount Plus for those in the United States. Additionally, on Crave and CTV Sci-Fi Channel for viewers in Canada. However, new episodes air Fridays via Amazon Prime Video in international regions like the United Kingdom. Paramount Plus also streams the episodes in select locations such as Italy, Germany and France. Check your local website for more details. So, what are your theories for this week's episode? Get commenting them down below as I want to hear your thoughts. No, seriously, type. Go on, quickly. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from your team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. But for now, I've been Captain Jack, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later this week with our breakdown for Picard Season 3, Episode 7. Live long and prosper my friends, goodbye.